Hello and welcome back to Second Chance Loot Channel here on YouTube. I'm happy to see that you decided to stop by to watch this video presentation. Thank you. In today's video presentation, I would like to share an article that I wrote last week. I create video presentations of my articles for individuals who learn more effectively through listening and watching. To read the article, I'll put my glasses back on and bring up the article. I want to thank you for your time. You are an important part of my process, and I always enjoy our times together. Here's the article. <clears throat> Excuse me. Neuroplasticity, small successes, and learning or relearning skill sets. During the past 17 or so years, I have trained pretty consistently in various martial arts. I have engaged in countless repetitions and drills in Muay Thai kickboxing, Western boxing, components of Wing Chun, Kali, and Jeet Kune Do. During the past 22 months, I have trained with endless repetitions in modern harness using single and double rattan sticks. In each of these martial arts, I have worked diligently to mirror both my non-dominant non side of my body with my dominant side of my body. By doing so, I have developed new motor and fine motor skills in my non-dominant side of my body, <clears throat> i.e. in my, my arms and my legs and hands. What I discovered in the past year or so was that I have been engaging in the process of neuroplasticity, thus creating new neural pathways and engaging in brain reorganization through my training in various martial arts during the past 16 or 17 years, as explained. As explained in medicine.net.com, I've been using the principle or concept of neuroplasticity. Their definition is neuroplasticity allows the neurons or nerve cells in the brain to compensate for injury and disease and adjust their activities in response to new situations or to changes in their environment. Brain reorganization takes place by mechanisms such as axonal sprouting in which undamaged axons grow nerve, new nerve endings to reconnect neurons with those links uh, whose links were injured or severed. Undamaged axons can also sprout nerve endings and connect with other undamaged nerve cells, forming new neural pathways to accomplish the needed function. From what I understand, the brain is made up of axons, dendrites, axonal ax space between the axons and the dendrites, and the key factor is a neurotransmitter which helps the messages to transfer from the dendrites to the axons. So by creating uh, <clears throat> through neuroplasticity, the axons and axonal endings are rebuilt or they regenerate or new ones are uh, created. So recently I wrote and published an article, Living Life on Life's Terms and Small Successes in which I spoke to life as a process and a journey, not a destination. As I embrace life as a process and a journey, I am, ab I am able to live life on life's terms. As I live life on life's terms, I am able to celebrate the progress that I make through small successes. These small successes have been gained through working on each part of a desired skill. I have achieved these small successes through a bazillion drills. <clears throat> Excuse me. By breaking down the skill into individual parts, I have been able to enjoy the process instead of judging my individual efforts. By working on individual parts of a skill through endless repetitions, I have been able to celebrate the small successes that I make instead of focusing on the de destination of learning the new skill. As I combine each, <coughs> excuse me, as I combine individual parts or small successes, I learn the desired skill. 
As I combine learned skills, I'm able to combine these skills into a series of learned skill sets. As I continue to combine these skill sets, I create new neural pathways, and in the process, I reorganize my brain. So it's a process and a journey, not a destination. As I have been able to combine a series of small successes, becoming proficient in specific drills, I have been able to learn how to execute a series of skill sets in each martial art. These small successes or parts of my drilling and training have not only improved my abilities as a martial artist, but have also given me the ability to apply the hand eye coordination, agility, motor and fine motor skills, speed, precision, and focus in other areas of my life. What I discovered is that my training, drilling, and mirroring skills and skill sets on the non-dominant side of my body has improved the quality of my life that I experience in other areas of my life by learning the skills. My encouragement to you, my friend, would be start slow, but start. Learn a new skill and a skill set through a series of small successes or parts. By doing so, you will improve the quality of your life. By doing so, you can move beyond the diagnosis, prognosis, a label, and a societal stigmatization. By doing so, you will be able to move beyond the confines of that box. I share the above information with you for this reason. Applying the principle and concept of neuroplasticity may help to improve the quality of the life of individuals whom you serve as well as your own life. Through persistence and tenacity, those individuals may find, as I have, that they are able to accomplish, learn, and relearn skills. Skills and abilities that may have previously seemed out of their reach or out of reach to them. Skills and abilities that they may have lost due to a stroke or other cognitive changes due to disease or injury. Skills and abilities that may have seemed to be out of their grasp. Skills and abilities that may help them to have spiritual or awakenings in their body. Exercise. <clears throat> Whatever you are able to do with your, do with your dominant side of your body, start doing or mirroring the same ability with your non-dominant side of your body. Start out slowly, but be persistent in your commitment. Work on one part or drill of the skill at a time. As you become comfortable with that particular part of the skill, move on to the next part of the skill. By combining parts of the skill or small successes, that you will find that you have learned or relearned a new skill. As you master that skill, begin working on parts of another skill. Combining these parts, small successes, into learning that skill. Excuse me. Combine those parts or small successes into learning that skill. As you continue in the process, you will be able to combine each skill into skill sets. As I have found, by doing so, you will be able to learn or relearn new skill sets. In the process, you will create new neural pathways and brain reorganization. In the process, you will improve the quality of your life through small successes. And I like to leave you with a riddle that I heard. How do you eat an elephant, one man said to the other. The, the man asked, tell me the answer. One bite at a time. What you see as an elephant, a skill or an ability that you would like to learn, may seem overwhelming. My encouragement to you, my friend, as I need to remember too, would be that you work on consuming the elephant or skill one part at a time. By doing so, your elephant will be reduced through small successes to a new or relearned skill because 
you kept chewing or you kept working on individual parts of the drill, learning new skills, and then being able to combine those skills and skill sets, which will result in your being able to do things that you may have not previously or that you were previously able to do because of your injury or disease, you weren't uh, not able to do, but you were able to do now that you've accomplished through achieving small successes. I'll say so long for now, but before I do, let me encourage you with this. Please do not give up on yourself, a loving God of your process, because more will be revealed in time. The pieces of the puzzle will come together in the correct order and at the right time. I'll say so long for now. Have a great day, and God bless both you and your family. So long now.